Yo, hey, what's up, guys? Yannick did it again. He came up with a comp for Fire Knight 6, where the maximum speed is just 213 on our Tomb Lord, and the rest is, is slower. And just imagine if you have life arena, uh, oh, <coughs> sorry, life arena bonuses and get like 10, 12, 14 more speed. So you can go even slower than that if you want to. And we are still on a 3 to 1 ratio. That is super amazing. And yeah. Thank you, Yannick, for letting us know. And if you have something cool, if you want to check it out, I will put the link in the description. And yeah, if you find something cool, let me know. Let the YouTuber of your choice know what you find out. And probably for the community, it's a good thing if we get more and more comps that we can just make instead of just having a Valkyrie all the time. And we will go into the game now. And we show you the presets because they're like, oh, of course, super amazing. And my speeds are a little bit off here, but I get plus 10 for my life arena. So don't, yeah, it, it, it's not like um, that those are the true speeds in here for Fire Knight. It doesn't show you like uh, we are in Fire Knight, those speeds are so it's kind of a little bit tricky. But if you want to know it, like the wheel wheel speeds, go just into the calculator. I forgot him. If yeah, let's go into calculator and check out yourself. And also, you do have a little bit wiggle room because my Tomb Lord is a little bit faster than he should be, but that's no problem for me. So it also shows you have a little bit wiggle room, but be careful if you try out something in there. If you want to like do a straight out copy, that probably would be like the best, and just press the auto button. And yeah. Who thought about Runekeeper? It's just Yannick. Man, man, man. <laughs> Let's go into the run. And I'm gonna like tell you what kind of gear I used. And my hike tune right now is in bolster set. The uh, Runekeeper is in a bolster set. Tomb Lord is in region set. Um, Skull Crusher also in a region set. Cold Heart is in lifesteal gear. So basically my whole team is based on defense. Besides my Cold Heart, she is like in the optimizer I went for survival mode but I gave her 200 crit damage and 100% crit damage by having the accuracy of course and of course Tomb Lord has a 100% crit rate too but that he needs it for, for his kit so of course accuracy is there too and yeah Haikatoon has a little bit accuracy so he can just get his turn meter decrease out a little bit <coughs> and yeah the Runekeeper is amazingly good in here because he have, fulfills two roles at the boss and also a couple roles on Wraiths, but I mentioned that later. On the boss he will have his turn meter boost and that's why the whole team is still working on a 3 to 1 ratio. And also he uh, cleanses all debuffs, that means we can just cleanse off the degree speed and everything is okay. And on the Wraiths of course he gives us increased attack. And yeah, of course you need to do like his opener and don't use the attacks. But he also provides on the first wave a little bit of heal. It's amazingly good. On the second wave, of course, you can just use your main skill once and that's it. And yeah, it's just how it is. How you should make your comps because you want to go into the boss with the right rotation. Of course, if you like don't use a certain skill on the boss, you can use it on wave two. That's no problem. So like Cold Heart uh, A2, she can just freely use it here. It's amazingly good. And also you, you uh, later on I will make another comp where you can actually use Tomb Lord's decrease attack and decrease defense on the boss while you do your normal thing. That means then you can just throw a little bit more like uh, damage based gear in here. Like Hiker Tune could be a decently okay <coughs> damage dealer. Cold Heart could be way, way better. And if you have to decrease attack on the boss, yeah, your team is not gonna die. <laughs> so you can just throw out more, more punchy damage gear and you should be good. And the waves, of course, are way quicker. That's what Yannick told me, like he is more like damage based, but he gets like his good stuff out there. And yeah, decrease attack helps a lot. So he can just survive and throw out more damage on the waves, on the boss, and everything should be a little bit quicker. But I went for like full defense gear and just making a hundred percent and yeah, so I can just farm the dungeon if I want to. And Runekeeper, who thought about him? Like, like I never thought about 
like maxing him out and stuff but yeah i did it <laughs> yeah so we actually entering the boss like always we do have our bolster set for the first wave so that shouldn't be a problem even when like cold heart would be like full damage gear and nothing else but yeah turn one isn't a problem at all and there we go our counter attacks we will cleanse the decrease speed now and yeah this <coughs> sorry at this turn we will place the decrease speed and from the next turn on now we are on a 3 to 1 ratio we will place our poisons every time we will not uh, after that turn right here we will place heal reduction and we did a little bit damage he healed a little bit that's okay that, that's calculated all good and from this turn we will place the heal reduction now and poisons every time and yeah we are basically just killing it <laughs> and just look at him wound keeper yeah take your turn <laughs> he finally has a spot in the game <laughs> it's amazing it's cool like every champion could be viable at some point you never know that's why you always keep at least one copy of every epic just just keep it save it up and you you never know <coughs> yeah my cold heart right now she takes like big hits she could actually die because i went a little bit ham on quit quit damage and stuff like that and yeah so if you want like a hundred percent i guarantee you you can just throw out full defense gear on her and it's it's working on the boss on the waves even better but it takes a little bit more time that's just how it is so i went for the more whiskey set and i went like a little bit more damage on her and less tankiness so eh, it's a risk but if i want to just change it up i throw defense gear on her and that's okay see she almost died but she has a 100% crit rate, one 200 crit damage, just... Yeah, screw that. <laughs> just just don't do it and you, you are good. So yeah, we got a big heal from Runekeeper. He's nice. He got a bolster set and I think <laughs> mine is like 140k. If I roll it up to level 16, every piece I have. Because the speeds are so low, I can just use HP boots. <laughs> Uh, attack boots or whatever you want you know <laughs> that's why this comp is amazing i want to show you and you can just go so ham on your stats because yeah the speeds are so low and it makes it so much more viable and four epics one legendary of course tomb lord he's like mvp in every comp he, he's in there but yeah i'm sorry if you don't have him but it's kind of kind of what you need and slowly we're taking the boss down it's, it's not the quickest run in the world but it's like super safe like i said cold heart just defense gear and everything is okay and also later on i will make the other comp where you can actually use decrease attack on the boss and that makes it way more easier because you, yeah you can do more damage on the waves you can do more damage on the boss and yeah that's nice and i think yeah of course i will some people mentioned like oh, you should um, show us the, your gear and that's what I'm going to do right now. So that's Tomb Lord. I'm not going into it too much. I'm going to do right. I'm going to click it for you. So it's always a plus 10 here and it, it's just tanky accuracy crit rate and yeah, <laughs> that's it. Masteries, skills, of course, he's fully booked and stuff. Masteries, yeah, they, they don't just just avoid like always turn meter increasing stuff and, and, and stuff like that. And you should be okay. So they don't actually change the speed while they are going. So um, Score Crusher is a little bit different. He's also in a region gear and I didn't mention it. Right, my, ah, come on TV. No. Yeah, and I, I forgot to mention that Tomb Lord is also in a region set, just to make it a little bit easier. The speeds are so low, so you can just actually pump more stats in there. Skills, of course, he's fully booked, and like Phantom Touch and stuff, that really doesn't matter at all on stage 6. And yeah, Mastery is kind of that one right here. And 
that word right here really helps out because he will just soak up some damage at the boss every time and yeah it makes he's unkillable anyway so he, if he soaks up more damage that doesn't hurt you at all so that's kind of really important on him and anything else on him no and we we go we got a bolster set those are the stats i'm gonna do it on fire knight so of course he's fully booked too but actually if you just don't have that one that yeah you could make it work but just book him and masteries of course i went for defense like he's not dying too much and well i probably would change it up a little bit but it's it's okay for now so if you just use it like that this shouldn't be a problem but like always like yeah turn meter increase stuff and yeah, yeah just avoid it cold heart right i gotta press fire knight oh people get mad so she is in life gear because she's just yeah kind of a little bit um damage focus <clears throat> like a little bit yeah you know what i mean so can, she can actually heal a good amount on here <clears throat> and like a big big tip is one of those rings amulets banners or whatever because if she does her a2 no a3 she gains a huge shield out of it so it just really if you have one just put it on her even if it's like attack or something like some stats you don't want but it actually helps really really on her masteries um yeah nothing too much to mention giant slayer also does not work on shields so it's not an extra hit and now here the big boy nobody thought about this guy he's in a bolster set and let me show you the stats fire knight and skills of course maybe you don't actually know this guy so i'm gonna he he can place a leech i i don't i didn't make him with accuracy it just because i went for lifesteal and stuff like that but yeah you can use it like just just have your own brain and if you want to use it use it if not don't whatever so of course he's fully booked and yeah he places increased attack on L on alias and fills the turn meter by 25 percent that's like amazingly good for an epic and yannick came up with like a perfectly fitting speed tune and yeah here we get a lot of heal and the cleanse and that's really important on the boss like without him it does not matter uh, it does not work and masteries he actually does not have any masteries why didn't i ah who cares um is that everything i think that's everything you you should know about this later on i will make another comp where you can yeah use decrease attack from tomb lord and it makes it makes it so much easier so we can actually pump more stats beat the waves quicker and this guy is like amazingly good at stuff like that and maybe he comes up with another comp and let us know until there um yeah have a nice day